Yeah, so if you've never played Skyrim before, I suggest you definitely go get this game. Uh, if this isn't really your style of game, then I still suggest you try it out. There's so much you can do in this game. There's, I'd, I'd like to say, unlimited amount of gameplay on it. The amount of quests you can do is unreal. I'd sooner bend my knee to Ulfric's Stormcloak. Besides, Greymane would never make steel for the Legion. Have it your way. I'll take the job, but don't expect a miracle. Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna make myself some shit. Let's do it. Uh, I should have made some leather instead. Fucked up. <clears throat> Sorry. Oh, uh, linen wraps. That's definitely on the list. I don't think I'll be able to make anything right now. Or I should be able to make a backpack, I believe. Oh, leather strips. Well, I don't want to buy some from her because I do need a horse, so. Let's keep it rolling. Spare a coin for a fellow who's down on his luck. So you can spend it on drinks at the Bannered Mare? If it's food you need, ask for that instead. Never you mind then. I'll find a more charitable soul. That's what I thought. Jesus. Boy runs a shithole, huh? Bunch of poor old people. Let's go. To the Jarl we speak. I got uh, NFL Network on the TV. They're doing a interview about Tom Brady or a football life of Tom Brady. The GOAT. New England Patriots. Super Bowl champs almost every single year. I know you guys hate them, but it's all right. What's the meaning of this interruption? Jarl Balgruf is not receiving visitors. Well, that explains why the guards let you in. Come on then, the Jarl will want to speak to you personally. If you say so. So, you were at Helgen. You saw this dragon with your own eyes? Dragon destroyed Helgen, and I saw it this way. was right. What do you say now, Proventus? Shall we continue to trust in the strength of our walls? That dude's a dick. My lord, we should send troops to Riverwood at once. It's in the most immediate danger. If that the dragon is lurking in the mountains, view that as a provocation. He'll assume we're preparing to join Ulfric's side and attack him. We should Enough. not. I'll not stand idly by while a dragon burns my hold and slaughters my people. Irileth, send a detachment to Riverwood at once. Yes, my yard. If you'll excuse me, I'll return to my duties. That would be best. Well done. You sought me out on your own initiative. You've done White Run a service, and I won't forget it. Here, take this as a small token of my esteem. Thanks, buddy. Yes. Another thing you could do for me. Suitable for someone of your... Um, you let's go me. find Faringar, my, my court wizard. For the war He's been what looking into a matter related to these dragons Look, and the rumors. You know I can't dragons. question his judgment. I'm not asking you to defy the Jarl. 
You could wait for him to come over here and speak to him first, but fucked up. to discuss the ongoing hostilities, like the rest of the great warriors. Hmm? What? Project? You think you could help me? I really don't think so. That's a prick too. Look, bro. What? I never even cast the. Ah, I see. You have some knowledge of the higher art. That's right. My earlier rudeness. I am so often interrupted by visitors wandering in. I can occasionally become quite savage. <laughs> I could become quite savage, he said. Oh my God, I love it. He said I can go from zero to a hundred real fucking quick on somebody. You say so, bro. Oh yes, he must be referring to my research into the dragons. Yes, I could use someone to fetch something for me. Well, when I say fetch, I really mean delve into a dangerous ruin in search of an ancient stone tablet that may or may not actually be there. Okay. Straight to the point, eh? No need for tedious hows and whys. I like that. Leave those details to your betters, am I right? I, uh... <laughs> yeah, now I'm gonna go get that for you, bro. They talk about random shit. I guess we can listen. Anything we can use to fight this dragon or dragons. We need it quickly. Before it's too late. Yeah. Of course, Jarl Valkyrie. He called me an able assistant. Little do they know I'm the fucking prodigy. Savior of the day. This guy cracks me up. We are but maggots, writhing in the filth of our own corruption, while you have ascended from the dung of mortality. The dung of mortality, the butthole of life itself, people. The butthole of life itself. Are you still working with the bannered mare in the evenings, Alfina? And why shouldn't I? Because I'm a gray man doesn't mean I can't. <clears throat> hey. Oh, alright. Hello. Go for this place. Oh, don't think I'm staring at your breasts. I'm staring at your heart. Uh, I'm not even gonna. Yeah, whatever. Trying to be a good guy. against the dragons is that it i can't afford to send anyone out and we don't know where the dragon is your main job will be to keep an eye out and get the people wow she's sending them to death three people to go fight a dragon oh. yourselves, but i do expect you to do your duty of course we'll keep riverwood safe you can which means fighting the dragon by themselves but a cunt <laughs> oh, I wonder what they did to deserve that. <clears throat> Water's good for the soul. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> word, word. Sorry, sending somebody a link. Uh, my buddy G9, Michael, he's the one that uh, is into making mods for Skyrim. You can uh, see his information on my mod page, or my mod video, I, I did a mod video, where you've already heard me say that, but um, I definitely suggest you check that one out, for sure. Alright, let's travel.
to <laughs> yeah so i wish i could edit the videos and skip past all this shit that'd be so fucking prime in every which way you wouldn't have to see me text on my phone or maybe i should just be you know like talking to you guys when it loads or something about something random I do gotta keep up with my life though in between load screens <laughs> uh, that's all I got is my load screens guys all I have so it's almost night time and since I'm a vampire when it gets night time it gives you a little boost which is what I like there's pluses and minuses to being a vampire. I don't know. I just like the title. Oh, yeah, and you remember that treasure map that we got? So from Riverwood, go across a little pond here and into this tree, and you got a nice little treasure chest. <clears throat> and that's always good. I don't know how a deer could survive that. Okay. <clears throat> ah. I'm going to skip this part. I'm going to get it back down on the way down the hill, but that old lady pretends to be nice. She's not a nice old lady, but there's only a handful of nice old ladies. Like my grandma. Shout out to grandma. Call her Moo Moo. She's the shit. <clears throat> I smoked weed with my grandmother before. That was interesting. She's also done a keg stand, my grandmother. And I'm not talking like when she was 16. I'm talking like 63-year-old grandmother upside down, drinking a fucking keg, and I can't get up this fucking hill. There we go. See, you just need a little bit of wiggle. All right, so there's a decent amount of enemies up here. <coughs> <coughs> Usually I have a bow and I'll just pick them off, but not currently. Yeah, sit down, boy. Or girl. Oh shit. I need more uh, magicka. Sit down. Let's snowstorm world in pretty quickly. <laughs> 